Hi, I'm Mandy, product engineer at Black Wolf, and today I want to tell you about our new Adventure Tent, the Isopod. It's a two-person tent, it's got a nice strong four-pole frame, so it's going to be nice and sturdy. It's, uh, it can be, it's pretty good for any Australian conditions. Um, Four-season tent, but quite versatile as well, so it's got a, a uh, full Full ripstop inner to keep you nice and warm in cold weather, but it's got some good ventilation as well to uh, to allow you to use it in hot weather as well. So you've got these vents that operate just with a little stiffening rod um, on two sides, and then inside there's four um, four internal vents, which we'll see in a moment. So um, come on inside. So the first thing you notice, it's got a nice wide opening door, the door zips most of the way around the whole, the whole uh, tent. It's got a full coverage ripstop door which you can zip right off so you can close it up just as a mesh door as well if you, if you want additional ventilation. And they zip together so that when you're using it just as one door you don't have two separate doors to open. It's, very, it's nice and convenient. No need to roll up that door, it's just got a little shelf pocket that you can, you can pop it in on the inside there. So come on inside. So inside you can see it's nice and spacious, lots of, uh, lots of head height, good head height right to the edges of the tent. I've just got, so I've just got one sleeping, sleeping um, set up here but there's plenty of space for two. You've got these zippered vents in all four corners that you can open up and uh, pull back to, to get some additional ventilation to the outside. Got really nice big cargo pockets along both, both ends. And then we've got some cargo pockets in the roof. I'm not quite sure if you're gonna be able to see those. Um, great for keeping, just popping your, your torch up there at night to make a bit of a lantern for inside your tent. Um, and then you've got some hanging loops as well. So if you're in a cold environment and you need to rig up a bit of a, uh, a line inside to dry your gear, um, you can do that too. So the tent's symmetrical, you've got vestibules on both sides. So if you have got the two of you sleeping in here, you've got your own entrances. Um, don't have to disturb each other if you do need to answer that call of nature in the night. Uh, so yeah, nice roomy tent, four season. This is the new Black Wolf Isopod. For more information, see the Black Wolf website. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to pitch your isopod. First of all, get a nice clear spot, lay the tent out on the ground, making sure you don't have any big sticks or anything underneath it. Now today isn't a very windy day, so I'm not going to peg the tent out to begin with. But on a, if the if the wind is is uh, strong, you'll need to get those corners pitched uh, corners pegged out as well before you start. So then get your poles out, assemble each one, being careful to make sure each each ferrule slots into the um, into into its neighbouring ferrule. Then place the two long grey poles corner to corner and then you're going to thread your red poles through the short little pole sleeve that goes from front to back. There's two, one each side of the middle. Once you've got those in place, just place the pole end into the eyelet on, the, on each corner for your grey poles. Get those grey poles in place, then stand up the Stand the poles up and start clipping the, the tent on. Once you get a few, few clips clipped on, the tent will stand up by itself. Then your red poles. Your red poles need to go over the top of your grey poles, and then they just slot into the little eyelets either side of, of the doors, or sorry, above the doors on either side. Once you've got those in place, unfold your fly. Throw it over the tent. You'll be able to position it. You've got the doors, which have got the grey um, covers there, front and back. Clip the uh, ends of the fly down to the corners. Leave them fairly loose in the in the first instance when you when you plug them in, and then you can go around and tighten them up afterwards. Then we're just going to fix the red poles into the eyelets on the on the fly. So open up your door, 
inside the fly you'll have another red tape with an eyelet that will just secure the position of the of the doors of the fly above the or the, the doors just secures the, the fly. So lastly we're just going to peg it out as I mentioned earlier if you do have windy conditions it's best to peg the tent out before you before you start putting the poles in. If it's not windy like today you can just you can assemble the tent first just allows you to reposition it a little to make sure you've got the right spot. Front and rear you're going to peg out those festival points and now your tent is pitched.